Hello, I'm Julie Kim from Los Gatos, and I am here today with uh, a chef from Seoul, Korea, Jin Young Park. And today we are going to make uh, my granola. 오늘은 granola를 만들 거예요. 서울에서 온 셰프 저와 Los Gatos의 닥터 줄리가 만든. So the reason I decided to uh, make a video is because a lot of my friends really like my granola and I got tired of handing out recipes all the time and I thought it would be just more fun to make a video so people could, a lot of people could learn how to make it. So the beauty of the granola is you can add um, a lot of your own favorite ingredients as long as you have the basic three ingredients that you start with. Um, you can add whatever you enjoy, uh, various nuts, various dried fruits. It's, it's all up to you in the way you create it. Okay, so we're going to start to make it. Um, as you can see already, uh, I'm going to explain it in English. And Chef Park is going to translate it and explain it in Korean. Um, so, <laughs> so the three first ingredients super easy. We're gonna start with um, just uh, oats uh, that uh, you can buy at any grocery store, and we're gonna start with eight cups, and we're gonna take eight cups. Yeah. And then we do, um, I put an entire bag of sweetened coconut flakes and you can get many different brands and super easy, you're going to just get a 14 ounce bag and you're going to put the whole thing in and as the Koreans do, we're going to use scissors for a lot of the things and cut the top off. And then the um, the third ingredient is a mixture of coconut oil and honey. And um, I like to use uh, local honey. So the honey that we're going to use today uh, was provided by the Zanato family who live up in the Los Gatos Mountains. And they have um, many beehives and they um, gave us some of their honey to use. <laughs> So we're going to use three, one and three quarters cup of coconut oil, which is 410 milliliter in the metric system. And we're, to that, we're adding one and a half cups of honey, uh, which is equivalent to 350 milliliter in the metric system. granola and the coconut and I will whisk okay. I'll whisk the coconut <laughs> and so the coconut oil should be actually um, in the liquid state it's kind of hard to mix this when it's solidified so we heat it up a little bit to make sure it's liquid and then it's it's really important to um, kind of whisk in the honey so they're both combined you don't have to whisk it all the way, but just enough that you know that the two are sort of married together. Okay, and then we're going to add most of it. Coconut oil을 굳었을 때는 렌지에 한 10초 정도 굳어서 풀어주시고 꿀을 넣어서 같이 섞어주는데 
니꾸라고 오일이 완전히 다 섞이진 않으세요. 한 7, 80%만 섞어놓고 그리고 여기 만들어놓은 귀리랑 코코넛 그리고 Yes, let's put that into three cups. It is four cups of sliced almonds. One cup of almond oil. Add the liquid and mix it up. You could also use your hands. Sometimes the honey is so sticky, you may want to use some other utensil to mix mix it all together. The X Men son is not present. 왼손으로 하셔도 되는데 꼬리 들어 있어서 손에 많이 묻을 거예요. 장갑 같은 거 끼시고 하시면 돼요. X man, X man hands. Okay. So as you can see, I purposely left some of the mixture um, in the in this vessel here because um, in the end, what we're going to do is we're going to combine all the nuts, any nuts that you like, and some dried fruits. I'd like to use um, cranberries. Uh, raisins, um, some um, dried cherries, um, you can put whatever you want. And I like to add a little bit of the left um, oil honey mixture to coat the nut and the dried fruit mixture. 네, 지금 조금 남아있는 오일과 꿀은 다음에 여러분들이 원하는 어떤 견과류 그리고 말린 과일들 섞을 때 같이 섞어서 놓으면 더 좋습니다. 그래서 저희가 남겨놨어요. Okay, so now that he's mixed it, we're going to take three baking sheets. And the baking sheets are lined with my favorite kitchen tool, which is parchment paper. And he's going to divvy that mixture up into three, um, three baking, di baking dishes. Yeah. So we let the chef do it because he's very fair and he wants to make sure every cooking sheet has the same amount. You can measure. <laughs> you don't need to measure. <laughs> and I'll take one. And we're going to spread it out. And you don't want to make it too thick. So if you divide it into three baking sheets, you're going to, I think it's, it's, it's good enough. I have to do on this one. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, pretty even. So we have uh, heated the uh, oven, and I actually use the convection setting, and it's uh, preheated to 350 degrees, which is. 오븐에 넣어서 구울 건데 파시로는 370인데 380인데 이 한국 오븐으로는 170도에서 175도 사이 정도로 구워 주시면 되세요. 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. One, almost 172 Celsius. Celsius. Okay. All right. It depends so, on the oven. Yeah. So now we're gonna put the three trays. And remember, the trays are gonna go in. Um, in three sort of different uh, compartments. So you want to keep an eye on the very top row so it doesn't get burned or it doesn't get brown too quickly. And you want to sort of shift the trays um, from the top to the bottom when you uh, recheck the um, granola in about 10 minutes. Okay. Alright, so first toasting, uh, we're going to give it about 10 minutes, um, but 
When you make granola, you really have to stay in the kitchen, so you keep an eye on uh, how well they're toasting because you don't want to accidentally burn them. 10분 정도 구워줄 건데 그래놀라를 만들 때 계속 여기 주방에 있으면서 한번 체크를 해주세요. 그래놀라 타는지 어떻게 있는지. So while um, those things are in the oven, we're going to prepare all the nut mixture to put into the granola. 처음에 그래놀라 섞어놨던 거 오븐에 한 10분 15분 정도 굽는 동안 저희는 말린 과일하고 경과류를 섞을 시간이 있어요. So typically, uh, when we make the uh, oil and honey mixture, I like to leave a little bit left um, um, into this little um, uh, bowl so that we cover the the nut and the dry fruit ingredients also with the canola oil and honey mixture. 처음에 귀리하고 저걸 섞어놨을 때 같이 섞었던 이 코코넛 오일하고 꿀을 조금 남겨놨다가 이번에 견과류랑 말린 과일들 같이 섞을 때 섞어놓으면 더잘 섞여요. So we're going to um, first put the leftover honey and 아마 있는 오일하고 코코넛 오일. 코코넛 오일. and then we're going to so the beauty of this is you don't act, you don't need to wash anything until you're done with the granola making. 어차피 다 섞는 거기 때문에 씻거나 할 필요 없어요. So first we're going to put four cups and I use mixed nuts. Mixed nuts in the cup. And the mixed nuts you could put whatever nuts you like. If you don't like a particular nut, you don't have to put those in. 좋아하는 것만 넣어도 돼. So we toss it. And then we add um, four cups of craisins, which is cranberry, dried cranberry. And then the beauty of making granola is you add whatever you want. And so I love um, coconut flakes. So I'm going to put roughly about Two cups of coconut flakes. Yeah, coconut flakes. Two cup. Cup. Two cup more. Yeah. And we're gonna try something a little different this time. And roughly about um, two cups of these are dried pineapples. Pineapple. 말린 것도 두 컵 같이 넣어주세요. 여기 들어가는 재료들은 주류가 좋아하는 재료들이 하실 때 자기 좋아하는 것들 넣어서 하시면 돼요. And then um, sometimes it's fun for a little extra crunch. And so we're going to put again roughly two cups of these are banana chips. <laughs> and sometimes it's fun to add a little bit of um, cherries, um, tart cherries. Even though you have uh, cranberries in there, you can add either raisins or cherries. So this time, we're going to add some cherries, uh, about one and a half cups. Because there's a lot of cranberries in there too, so you don't want to do too many dried red fruits. Okay. And like I said, you can add whatever you want. And the whole point is to coat all these ingredients with the canola oil, oil and honey because when you then toast it in the oven, it really kind of caramelizes um, all the ingredients and it makes it super good. Okay, and then uh, the beauty of the parchment paper is it actually helps you mix. And so all you have to do is each corner you throw it into the center and then you take the yeah, apples and you then now spread it out again. And then so I think it gets mixed better. 
유산지 가생이를 한번 접었다가 피면 저절로 썰게요. Okay, so we'll do the other batches. We're gonna toast it for another 10 minutes before we add the nut mixture. So we're gonna do the same thing for the other two trays. 합쳐서 다른 미처 섞기 전에 10분 더 보여 한번 더 섞은 다음에. Your turn to do that. Last tray. So you see this one is a little toast here because yeah. it was on the top rack, but it's still okay. So then I'll put that in the bottom rack just to even things out, okay? Okay, so the second time we toast, it's going to be only for about five minutes. But like I said, you know, every oven is a little different, and um, you have to just really monitor it because you don't want it to get really too dark brown before we add the nut and the dried fruit mixture. So we're gonna keep an eye on it and I'm gonna check on it like every minute to make sure that it, the color is the right, um, the, the right shade of brown. 여기 오븐 같은 경우에 두 번째 넣을 때 오븐만 넣으면 되는데 오븐마다 다 다르기 때문에 계속 체크해 주시면서 너무 다크 브라운 너무 진하게 나오지 않을 때까지 부어 주시고 그 다음에 섞어 주세요. We are ready to take the granola out of the oven and we're going to add the nut dry fruit ingredients. 이제 얘네를 저기 넣을 거예요. We're going to take all three of them out. And we're going to divide the nut fruit in, uh, into the three we are baking sheets. And we like him to do it because he's so good at dividing it into three. Yeah. I'm, I'm fair. <laughs> You're fair. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do the same thing, which is you take the ends of the, uh, the paper and put it towards the middle, and that's how we're going to mix in the uh, nut dry fruit. And then we just spread them out again. And this is a super important part because you really have to keep an eye on the, the dried uh, fruits, nut mixture, because you don't want to burn them. Uh, remember, we coated it with uh, coconut oil and honey, so there's uh, a bit of a sugar content, and you don't want to burn because it doesn't taste good that way. The important point is that you don't want to burn it. Okay, so we're going to put it back into the oven. Alright, you have to keep a really close eye on that, so I'm going to take a look 
like every 30 seconds just to make sure we don't overdo the, the baking. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. We kept a close eye on the granola mixture, so now we're going to toss it one more time. And again, because we are putting the trays on different um, racks in the oven, um, you want to make sure the darkest um, granola goes on the bottom shelf and the lighter ones go on the top shelf. So I'll put that one on the top rack then, huh? Yeah. 다른 것보다 조금 밝아서 불이 제일 센 위쪽으로 넣을게요. So again, we're gonna toast it for another probably five minutes, but this is probably the last time we're gonna need to. Um, toasted so we're gonna make sure we really like the color of the oats when we take it out and that will be the finished product and we're gonna cool it. We're getting towards the end it's uh, been in the oven for this time about 10 minutes. Um, you really want to make sure you like the color of the oats and uh, the, the dried nuts and fruit ingredient because when it cools down um, it's going to get really crunchy and you're going to really taste the caramelization. Um, so you want it to be a little bit, uh, just a little bit on the darker side. So we want to make sure we keep that in the oven until you reach that consistency that you like. So we're going to take it out. So this is like a perfect. See how it's like really nicely kind of amber brown toasted. Golden brown with a chocolate dog. Okay. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually not gonna toss it. We're gonna let it cool this way, and when it cools down, it's gonna get really crunchy and you'll be able to like um, um, take apart chunks of it or you could if you really like it totally loose you could really work on um, separating the pieces but I kind of like it chunky and uh, uh, we'll come back and taste it when it cools down Okay. All right, now we let it cool. Okay, so uh, the granola is totally cooled off and it's ready to be eaten. And uh, as you can see, it sort of sticks together like this and you can take uh, parts of it apart and uh, enjoy it. That's the best part of the granola. 저희가 한, 한 시간 정도 식혀서 지금 이게 자기네들끼리 붙어 있어요. 이제 즐기시면 됩니다. Ready? Okay. Oh, where, where are you guys going with that? 어디 가? 이거 이제 내 거야. <웃음> no, 다시. 가져와. 가져와. <웃음> bring it back, you guys. Bring it back. 다시 가져와. 싫어. 대표. 
다시 가져와 내 거야 <웃음> 야 죽을래? <웃음> <웃음>